Okay, so I was just reading a comment from somebody who was talking about narcissistic men and how when they find a woman that loves herself, they see it as a challenge to see if they can break her spirit. That got me thinking, like, how cool would it be to purposely find narcissistic men date them full well knowing the whole time they're narcissists but just date them on purpose as a way to practice my mental skills my self-love skills and my dating skills like purposely date narcissists just so i can practice everything i know but in real life on real people you know, there's nothing better than actually practicing with real people. I mean, just think of like how much practice you would get in the self-love department dating narcissistic men on purpose. It's different when you're doing it by accident because you get really sad and you get freaked out and, you know, they hurt your feelings and you can't sleep at night and, you know, like it... It triggers you and it brings out all your insecurities. But if you know they're a narcissist to start off with, none of that stuff will happen. You'll just get real world experience dating these kind of men. And that would be so cool. Like, where can I find some narcissists? Like, where do they hang out? I don't normally attract them. Like, I hear about them all the time. You know, that got me thinking too. Why don't I know a lot of narcissistic men? It got me thinking like, maybe I'm a narcissist. And that's why they don't come near me because I don't think two narcissists get together, do they? Or do they? I don't know how that would work. You would think, one would have to not be a narcissist so the narcissist can play games on on the on the, well it's usually an empath right isn't it usually a narcissist and an empath together <laughs> oh my god i want to date a narcissist on purpose oh my god that would be like really good cognitive behavioral therapy to learn how to start loving yourself and practicing the self-love, practicing putting yourself first all the time, practice not being manipulated, practice listening to the voice inside instead of the voice on the outside, practicing like still having high self-esteem even though somebody is like putting you down or manipulating your mind all the time, how to cope with like, what are all these words these people are saying? Like love bombing and uh, stonewalling and you know, all these terms that I see on YouTube all the time. But if you know you're dating a narcissist when you go into it and it's with the full intention of just practicing, you could become like something really, really amazing, like an amazing goddess, psychological dating machine. And then nobody could ever mess with you ever again because you would have these amazing skills that other women don't really have. or at least they don't have initially. They usually have to go through a whole bunch of crap and become a little bit older to start having amazing dating skills. But that could really expedite the process. If you're like young and you date narcissists on purpose and like take notes the whole time while you're doing it and maybe like, you know, have a shrink on the side or like a coach and you, you know, you date the narcissist and you have a relationship with them, but you know, you check in with your coach or with your shrink, like, you know, once a week or twice a week or whatever, and like take notes and, you know, like study the narcissist. 
and like study yourself and like plan everything out. That would be so fun, oh my God. You know what, next time I come across a narcissistic man, even if I don't wanna date him, I'm going to date him on purpose. And I'm going to learn like more about myself and I'm gonna practice and I'm gonna make videos about it. Oh, that's so much fun. God, universe, please send me a narcissist ASAP. This is my next new project.